Dear students, now we are going to discuss waveform distortion in transmission line in detail. In general, any unwanted deviation of the red signal is known as distortion. In transmission line, when the received signal is not exactly same as that of the transmitted signal, then the signal is said to be distorted. For an ideal transmission, the received end waveform should always be equal to the input waveform at the transmitting end. For getting this ideal performance, we need to satisfy one condition that is all frequencies must have the same attenuation and same delay in transmission. Okay, because we are going to transmit a signal which is having many frequency components. So that frequencies must have same attenuation and same delay. Okay. When these conditions are not satisfied, distortion exists. The distortion occurring in the transmission line are called as waveform distortion or line distortion. This waveform distortion is classified into two types. One is frequency distortion, phase or delay distortion. Let's discuss each distortion in detail here. First one is frequency distortion. When a signal having many frequency components are transmitted along the transmission line, all the frequency components will not have equal attenuation. So each frequency is having different attenuation. Hence, the received waveform will not be identical with the transmitted waveform because of this different attenuation, okay? This type of distortion is called as frequency distortion. So, frequency distortion depends on the attenuation constant value because the attenuation constant is a function of frequency. So, here alpha in terms of frequency is given in this formula. This is the attenuation constant for transmission line. In order to reduce the frequency distortion, the phase constant value is dependent of frequency. The velocity of propagation, it should be independent of frequency. And we are going to use equalizers, okay? So equalizers at the end of line terminals. Line terminals means transmission line terminals are used to reduce the frequency distortion. The frequency distortion has serious impact for audio signal transmission. Next one is phase distortion. It is also called as delay distortion. When a signal having many frequency components are transmitted along the transmission line, all the frequencies will not have same time of transmission. Some frequencies being delayed more than others. That means each frequency is having different time delays. This type of distortion is called as phase distortion or delay distortion. So here the phase constant is a function of frequency. This is the phase constant equation for transmission line. So here the phase constant is a function of frequency. This phase distortion has serious impact for video and picture transmission. It is not that much serious for audio transmission, okay? In order to reduce delay distortion or phase distortion in transmission line, the phase constant should be dependent of frequency. Actually, it is a dependent one, okay? Because that velocity of propagation is independent of frequency for that we can ensure that this phase constant is dependent of frequency. Do you all understand? In order to reduce delay distortion, the phase constant should be dependent of frequency. Then we can use coaxial cables to reduce the delay or phase distortion in transmission line because the coaxial cable is having certain important properties low internal inductance, small resistance and small capacitance. The velocity of propagation must be equal for all frequencies to ensure there is no delay distortion. Okay.